Naam, mtazamaji ambao umekuwa ukifuatilia tuko moja kwa moja hapa Sofitel eh, hapa nchini Ivory Coast eh, watu wakifahamu zaidi kama Cote d'Ivoire ambapo mashindano makubwa kabisa ya Afcon mashindano ya 34 yakaichukua nafasi yake. Mimi naitwa Juma Ayo na niko hapa na mchezaji wa timu wa zamani wa timu ya taifa eh, ya Afrika Kusini eh, Sikiwe Shabalala. Wote tunakumbukumbu kwenye kombe la dunia akiwa ndio mfungaji wa bao la kwanza kabisa kombe la dunia kwa mwaka 2010. na kumi. Eh, Shabalala, happy to see you brother. Thank you, uh, thank thank you very much legend and uh, uh, we are here for 34 uh, edition of uh, uh, African Cup of uh, Nation. Uh, I need to hear your 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 comment, your concern about uh, this season Afghan. How do you see it and uh, uh, what is your expectation by the way? Yeah, um I I see growth um i see uh you know um uh, have uh, taking uh, big strides uh there's lots of improvements um uh, you know, from the infrastructure point of view um i think we we heading into the right direction in terms of you know uh matching the, the rest of the world uh the gap is no longer big and the organization point of view uh it's uh, great uh, at the highest level and yeah I, I i think this is going to be one of the best um, editions of um Af Af uh, african uh, cup of nations uh, tournament. Uh, do you see the growth because uh, you participated as a player when you were playing in the national team uh, for those days back and now do you see any growth positively yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big growth, um, the, the positive growth. Uh, you know, now, uh, you know, teams, they get uh, great accommodation, uh, they get great hospitality, uh, you know, the logistics, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, much better than they were before. Yeah. And the most important, um, in the, in the stadium, uh, stadium is uh, good, um, the field is in good condition. So, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, big up to uh, the organization and uh, big up to Cap. Yeah. What's the problem with uh, uh, Bafana Bafana? Yesterday he had uh, some friends from South Africa. Uh, it was just a doubt about the performance of uh, Bafana Bafana uh, currently. And they, they, they don't think if Bafana Bafana can do better. Do you think what is facing Bafana Bafana recently? I think that it's normal for people to have doubts. Uh, it's normal uh, for, for people to uh, have opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in my view, I I I, I strongly believe that uh, they will do well. Um, I, I think we've got um, a decent team. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, a group of players that have the experience of continental football and you know hopefully they will uh, have the experience that they have the rest of the guys mm -hmm. and each and every team that's here you know, they they deserve to be at the end of place to be here but mm -hmm. they're here on merit sometimes they are asking about some of players especially they are talking about selection of the team uh, and they are trying to blame technical staff about some of players. They don't get enough chance to play in their clubs, but they get a chance to be in the national team. I think as a people, we've got mm -hmm. a right to express our views. Um, we've got a right to, um, you know, give opinions. But uh, it's the coach that decides, and we have to respect that. Mm -hmm. and we have to support that. Um, I think he's he's the one who who knows um, you know uh, players and he knows what they can do and and we have to give him a chance and his technical team and support them as well. Which which Afcon you still recall in your mind uh, for the time being when you are uh, played? You still think in in on your mind right now? Uh, I've, I've I'm grateful that I've had an opportunity to uh, represent my country. I've called three times. Mm -hmm. First was uh, 
2006 in Egypt, 2008 in Ghana, and 2013 back home. Um, all of them are, are you know, are memorable um, experiences and uh, a highlight of I mean, playing in the uh, Afghans as the pinnacle of African football. I'm sure each and every player from the continent dreams of playing uh, in the AFCON. Um, that's the level where you are tested. Uh, that's the level where you compete with the best uh, in the continent. That's the level where you also want to raise your hand and be counted. Mm. So this time, or oh, this season, which team you give a chance maybe to do well to win the Cup of Nation as your favorite? I think everyone has a chance, you know. Uh, there's there's favorites, there's, there's underdogs, mm. but everyone has has an equal chance. And mm. when it comes to you know um, uh, competitions, mm. um, it, 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 it form does not count. Your previous form does not count. Mm. What matters is what you do um, on the day, and you get little chance to recover. The only chance you get is from the group stages. After that, uh, anything can happen. You know, we, we are definitely going to see you know, this, the, 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 the story of David to mm -hmm. uh, happening. So maybe to be a tournament of, 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 of upsets, maybe it will be a tournament of underdogs. You never know. And you have said that anything might happen where? In, 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 in which team, maybe if anything happening? Uh, in, in, in our group, um, it's, a, it's a tough group, but Tunisia, mm. very experienced side, technically and tactically brilliant. I think they know how to win games, they know how to manage games. And then you've got money, money, but they good players as well. Uh, can cause an upset any day. Uh, Namibia, uh, they might look like a small team mm -hmm. uh, on paper, but they're not. Yeah. They're in the Afcon, you know, they've got um, one of the best strikers in the country, mm -hmm. and he also happens to play in South Africa. So you cannot undermine them as well. And we've got a decent team, uh, mixed with experience and, and, and youngsters as well. Uh, on a good day, we, we definitely can cause an upset. Uh, I think we, we showed, we've shown before on a few occasions that uh, when, when you are in good songs, you make things happen. Mm -hmm. We played against um, uh, Morocco, yeah. um, one of the best teams on the continent, a team that Made history by being the first African team to reach the World Cup semi final. We have played them, we, we beat them in a second this stadium. Yeah. So we do have the quality. And, uh, we have demonstrated that we do have the quality. We can perform and we can compete. And, we them. and according to quality, you have, you see, uh, your national team to find, to make it to the final. Why not? Um, I, I believe that they can they can achieve that goal. Uh, it, it's a goal that will not come easy. It's a goal that will not be given to them. Uh, they have to work hard for it. And they have to do, do their best. Like I said, anything can happen. So if you believe, work hard, anything can happen. But it's not going to happen if you don't go for it, you don't work hard. By the way, let's finish by uh, looking for the progress of African team in international competition, especially World Cup. People still believe in that one day, yes, African teams in World Cup we can do more than we did this uh, last time uh, with Morocco. Do you see it, Malala? I see it. Um, I, I believe it. I believe that it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Uh, that, that, there are so many factors that we need to consider for it to, to, to happen. 
firstly development you know football in africa uh, great you know um, opportunities for african teams to be presented to them uh, best tournament that will also improve uh, the standard and the quality of the football um, a lot of investment that needs to be put in, into that project and 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 so far there is progress uh, you know um, when you watch champions league now you, you see good football very competitive and see quality players quality football and the recent uh, um, african football league so the, the standard is you know improving it's just the beginning but um, I, I foresee a great future in, in African football and growth. Uh, by the way, uh, Sifue, thanks very much for your time, and uh, I'm very happy to host you today. It's a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Uyo ni Sifue Shabalala, mchizaji wa zamani wa timi ya taipa ya Bafana Bafana, zoke pale Afrika ya Kusini yuko hapa. Ana matumaini ya timi yao kufanya vizuri, ya timi ya taipa, uh, lakini bado wakia wanaamini kuna hata maanda dogana timu zile ambazo ni za kawaida zinaweza kufanya vizuri katika mechi. Na mimi naitwa Juma Ayo. Asante na kwaheri kwa sasa.